Hey folks, that fix a guy here. Today we're gonna to be looking at changing out a toilet seat. So this particular toilet seat is called the Next Step Toilet Seat. It's for potty training kids, right? We have one more that we need to potty train. And so this thing is slow closed, but now doesn't close so slow anymore. It broke the other day. I'm fixing to show you. My wife said, let's get it done real quick. So come along, let's get to fixing. So if you get up on this right here, you can kind of see if I put my hand down there, there is like a sticky grease that's black that has started to come out. And I feel like what happened was the slow close portion of this, which I'm believing is some kind of hydraulic thing, just blew out. So here's a better look, a better angle at that. Let me put some gloves on real quick. You know, this is a... <laughs> I've got a five-year-old that I think he misses more than he hits his mark. So this is cleaned up <laughs> and it's good, but never can be a little, never can be too careful here, right? So if you just see that, like, look at that stuff, man. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It definitely blew out. It doesn't slow close anymore. Bit of a bummer. This particular toilet seat, there's a couple of different options when you're going to take it off. It's pretty nice. Okay, so we've got these covers. You wanna grab, remove the cover. The covers just pop towards the seat and that exposes the bolts. Okay, well, the one other thing that this does is once you get that in place, you can see there's these little tabs, these little corrugated tabs running around this. Well, that allows you to actually just go ahead and pop that toilet seat off. You can definitely see signs of <laughs> boys, boys live here. Okay, and that has blown out. So if you get up in there, you can just see all the signs of that stuff, right? Let's just get that out of here. This thing is super heavy and it's pretty nasty. Toilet seats are definitely dirty work. You can see how funky these are. And I don't know if this grease kind of went down in the bottom too. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna pull this out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna go up top and we're going to take an adjustable jaw wrench and we're gonna go down to the bottom, okay? So let me just get show you what's going on in the bottom. Okay, so then what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your crescent wrench. You're gonna to wanna to get it right here on the bolt underneath Get that snug, and then from the top, you'll just take your screwdriver and unscrew. Once that's loose, you probably can grab that down below and just go both hands, get that undone. All right, we're gonna want all this clean. Get this other side. You may be able to hold it with your hand too, right? Like I am. Oh, ah. and you might drop your screwdriver in your toilet. That's a bummer. Okay, get that stuff off of there. We're just gonna throw all these setups away because they're really gnarly. Oh, we're gonna grab some Mrs. Meyers Clean Day, this stuff. Um, you know, it's great. It freshens up surfaces. I'm just gonna give this a, Nice spray down there. Just get this whole surface clean, top and bottom. Now we're ready to install the new one. So when you're purchasing a toilet seat, you wanna make sure what style of toilet you have, whether it's an elongated or it's a round front. Okay, so this is an elongated, much bigger toilet seat. I like it, it's a little bit more comfortable. So if we get up on this right here, right? This is the next step to built-in potty seat. Elongated, when you're looking at the boxes, it's actually gonna have this distance and it's gonna say either an E or an R for an elongated or for a round. All right, and this is just a, it's a heavy toilet seat but Church makes pretty good toilet seats. They're made in the USA, hooked up in Wisconsin. Um, I would have bought a plastic one, honestly, but I couldn't find 
one that had the built-in potty seat. So this is just what I ended up going with. This is what we had on there. We liked it. It just sprung a leak, unfortunately. All right, so let's just go ahead and let's pop this bad boy open. gonna be a little assembly required here. You gotta kind of pop that little bad boy in place. And so it's made to where you can take it off afterwards. And we were thinking, oh man, well, that's pretty cool. We'll just, maybe we only had to buy one, but it turns out, no. So you'll see once we get this together, that this setup is actually a little bit different than our old setup. Huh. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, it's not a big deal, but the other one's just definitely a little bit different. I swore this was the same exact toilet seat we bought, but maybe they changed the style up a little bit. Okay, so comes with these little pieces. These right here are gonna set down in here and then this is gonna kinda end up locking in place there. We'll get it hooked up here in just a second. Let's pop this apart. Get that set up over there. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna get it right here. There's a couple of plastic pieces on this. You always gotta do something weird, dude. So. Let's get those hooked up. They always put some hard plastic something in. It's always something, you just can't get it off, right? So take this, flip this around, and just get this set in place. These are kind of gonna be hard. You're gonna have to push them down and it's gonna take a little time because they're slow close. If you've got your toilet seat like this now, there's no pieces in it, you're gonna wanna grab these two rectangular pieces. You just take these and they slide down in here. Instead of this actually popping off the way the other one did where you pulled it up, this one you're actually gonna be able to take it and slide it forward. I swore I bought the same toilet seat, but may, I don't know, maybe they switched up their style. I can tell you, these right here are, they're a little bit cheaper than those metal bolts that were in there, but this is still gonna work. Um, there is something here with this. I'll show you real quick. Let me pop one of these out. So you get up in here, you see all these ridges inside of that? Well, there's ridges right here that match on the bottom side of this bolt right here. See that? And so those are gonna mount up and when that gets put in place, it's gonna make it to where that's just gonna stay right where you want it, okay? You tighten it down, it's gonna be good to roll. Pop this back in place here. There's two arrows on here up and down and that's just the way that's gonna go. Sits down in place. Same thing on this one. So this is how I like to roll with it. You take one of these, you stick it underneath the bottom, and you just tighten it up. The same way that you took it off, you just tighten it up. So when you're adjusting a toilet seat and getting it to where you want it, I like to go flush with this lip right here. I like everything to be in line, right? And then that just ends up working out. It looks good. It works out well. That's where you want to hold it when you start to tighten it down. So look, to put these on in the bottom, you could use an opened end wrench for this, or I have an open end with a ratcheting that you could do this on the bottom. It's good. A lot of times for plumbing jobs though, I just like to use my plumbing tools because they're already dirty. You know, it's sometimes plumbing is a dirty job, but with this, you can just take this, come on to the bottom side, tighten this down on the bottom, just get it hand tight. 
Make sure you've got it situated the where you want it. And then you can just tighten this down. You don't want to go super tight because this is plastic. You may have to loosen this side up again just a little bit. Don't super tighten it yet. Get it to where there's still a little play. Make sure it's down. Don't tighten it all the way. Then put this side on. Now that that side is down in there, get this side tucked away again. Make sure they're both hooked up. Okay, so on the bottom of this bolt, you can see that there's this piece. Don't be alarmed if this pops off, okay? That is gonna be very snug. If you've popped this off, well then chances are this is gonna be tight enough. All right, so it just gives you another option grabbing on and holding. Because if you take this off, well then you're still able to get your wrench on this one right here and you're able to pop it on. There's actually no threads. This is just a little longer of an extension to be able to grab a little easier because sometimes there's a lip on your toilet that makes you have to get up underneath there to hold on. So this makes it easier. But you can see on that other one that I was just tightening and broke off. It's only a little thin piece of plastic holding this together, holding that on. It's not a big deal. And that is hooked up. So now you're able to shut that and now you're able to lift this up. You're able to take this right here you can see there's two little slots right there. This is just going to slide on. There's two notches in between here and here. You're just gonna take that, pop those right on there, and now it's good to go. There's a magnet that actually locks that toilet seat in place when it's not in use. The other cool thing about this is for cleaning purposes, which I feel like a lot of manufacturers do this these days, you're able to pop these off and then you're just able to slide this out, right? This pops off, you're able to clean it, you're able to get it hooked up, and then it's just easy enough to, once it's clean, to just slide back in place, put the bolt covers down, and you're back to good. And now we have a sweet, slow closed toilet seat again. That's what we wanted. All right, so that's installing a toilet seat. We personally went with this church painted wood toilet seat just because really it's the only one they had that had this built-in potty seat thing with it, right? This is a pretty cool one. I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, but our biggest thing was slow close, right? Because we got enough chaos going on in the house. The last thing you want to do is hearing that bam. It's such a startling noise when you hear that toilet seat go down, right? Because you can hear it throughout the whole house. You can be on in the kitchen and you know that somebody's just used the toilet because they went to put the toilet seat down and it slammed. But now we don't have that problem anymore. So that's what we were looking for. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you could please subscribe to the channel, click that like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.